戦うためのチカラ。人はそれをガンダムと言った。G Hello YouTube, Commando Ando bringing you SD Gundam G Generation F. On my very legal, I have to stress the word legal, PlayStation console, Sony PlayStation Entertainment console. Um, this is SD G Generation, uh, SD Gundam G Generation F, which is a very dear game. In my in my childhood slash teenage years, I don't even remember. I don't know how old I was in 2000, and it's a secret. For those of you who are, who are unfamiliar with what SD Gundam G Generation anything is, because it's a series, it is a SD SD meaning super deformed, I believe, and Gundam Gundam, and G Generation. Who knows what they what name what bases they had with that name. Um. So super super deformed Gundams, and you're gonna play through all these storylines. As you can see, here's Gundam, the original with Amuro. Here's Eighth Mobile Suit Team, and I think they tried to organize this by chronological order. You know, Universal Col Colony or whatever that UC stands for. I forget. 88, 93, 105, 120, 123. However, this whole UC universe has no place in my heart. Well, it does, but. Not as much as this right here. After Colony 09, 0195. Gundam Wing, gen ladies and gentlemen. Gundam Wing. That is the the height of my Gundam loving days. And this music. Oh, this music brings back the feels. Let's get this started. I'm going to be starting here. And I will progress, explain to you the story. Gun disc disc three, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on one second. And while I change the disc on this legal platform. After the colonies of the blah 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 blah, I can read read Japanese. Shikosh, I can read hiragana though. But however, something 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 something. Skip 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 skip. Can't read that. And the music. Music was quite boring, to be honest with you, so I'm gonna keep moving along. So I don't remember the story very well. I haven't watched the Gundam Wings series since the early. late 90s, I believe, is when it came out. That's probably when I watched it. Shut up. Ah! Pixelated pictures. Good deal. I don't know if PlayStation games have aged very well in, into the um, HD universe here. I'm going to be skipping along. But I will try and brief you guys in the story as we progress because this is kind of old now. I don't know if a lot of people, I don't think many people know what Gundam Wing is anymore. Here is the female protagonist of the story, Relina. 
Relina Dorian, as the name is, and that's her father, Dorian. I think so. And they're on their way to in a plane somewhere to get somewhere. Blah blah blah. And then she sees a weird flying object. Arewa! I don't even know what that says. Ope. Ope. Ru. E. Ah. Operation Miteoka. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, sorry. <coughs> Pardon me. I did <clears throat> learn quite a bit of Japanese. And I can read hiragana very well, but I cannot read katakana as well, and I cannot read very much Japanese, um, I'm not Japanese, kanji at all. Yosh! Oz. I can read English, for sure. So here's the game! There's Hiro, the... Hiro Yui is the main protagonist of the Gundam pilots. And this is a... <laughs> This is a very straightforward tactic RPG type of game with your standard movement, grids, and um, I'm going to dodge here. Oh, I got hit anyway. God damn it. I'm going to counterattack this guy and I will show you what the game looks like in, in its truest form. Secret Diplomacy Oz versus Hiro Yui. I think they spelled Yui wrong. Very straightforward, you know, he dodged it. I have no control over the cutscenes. It's all numbers based. Hero, you missed! What? How could you miss? You have this giant laser beam that encompasses the whole Anyways, I don't know what, what I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I am just overwhelmed. Eat, eat the beam. Bam, dead. So here, this is the game right here. Oh shit! Oh, oh, well, you get to watch Hero Yui potentially hit this guy. And I love this song right here. Hero's theme song is the best. There he goes. Says the Japanese man. Mission complete, I think is what he said. I don't know. I can't read kanji. Forget it. And then Zex Marquis, the kind of like the Char of the uh, the UC universe, kind of. Not really. Not really. I don't know. <clears throat> but he's like the best pilot that Oz has. And he's like, man, he shot those guys too easily. I'm gonna have to. I can't take him on with my Leo mobile suit, so I'm gonna grab onto him, make my my mobile suit grab gun the Gundam, and. Make him plummet to the sea! And, as you can see on the right, Zex has parachuted out to safety. And he's like, that thing. Something, something that I can't recall. <coughs> Mr. Dorian! Relina, Dorian. Relina, Relina. Dorian, Dorian. Du -du 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 -du. And then Relina walks off into from somewhere, and she's like, um. Dorian obviously is a politician of some sort. He's a he's a very he he's an ambassador of peace between um the colonies in outer space and Earth, I believe. It's been it's been four probably more than fourteen years since I've watched this cartoon anime, so I don't know for sure. And she discovers eh, Hito, ugh, says Hito. She discovers him on shore, although I recall it being more of a nicer looking sandy covered beach like area, but whatever. And then he wakes up, and then he runs away. 
after covering his face with one hand, the trademark of Hiro Yui. And here's Trey's talking to Zex. Zex is like, blah blah blah. Trey's is like, it'll be fine. Our operation, or something, will go into effect quite well and easily. And here's Relina somewhere. Oh, she's at school, and she she's a the politician's daughter, so she travels a lot. She's back at school. Everyone's like, oh look, it's Relina. And then here's the new student, Hiro Yui. She's like, it's that guy. What the fuck? Yep. Hiro is here, and she's like, hey, Hiro, nice to meet you. And she puts her hand out to shake his hand, and Hiro walks by, not touching her hand, and says in her ear, whispers it into her ear, I will kill you. And she's all scared and shocked at the same time. And I was goose pimply when I was a kid, haha. <laughs> Hiro Yui's English voice, although not a very good actor, had a pretty decent voice though, I actually kind of liked it more than the uh, Japanese version. And that's really rare for me to say. I usually, 99% of the time, <laughs> prefer Japanese voices over English voices any day. And here's Hiro using the computer in the school to communicate to the colonies that he has arrived or something along those lines. No, 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 no he's not communicating. He's actually looking for... He's accessing databases and for, the, for a method to dispose of his Gundam. And here's Oz trying to look for it, and then they get ambushed by... Ah! Duo Maxwell, Gundam 02, aka Death, Death Sight, I think his name. Death Strike? No, Death Sight. And Gun he's like, hey, what's this? Hey, it's another Gundam. It looks just like mine. Huh. Gundanium Alloy. Something along those lines. And then she's out here being a melodramatic. And then Hero decides to. Jack a missile, and he's trying to blow up his own ship, or not ship, mobile suit, Gundam, Gundam Wing, because um, he feels he has failed, so he has to dis dispose of the evidence. And here Duo was like, hey I found another Gundam, sweet deal, I can use it as spares parts, what the fuck? And then Hero's like, this is it, mission complete. And Duo's like, what the fuck is wrong with this kid? And... I don't know. By this point, we're probably on like episode 3 or 4 of <laughs> the original series. I don't recall. Here's Noin, the uh, lady here in purple. Pretty good leader, I would say, of the Oz organization. I don't recall. <laughs> I don't remember what's going on here. But here's the introduction for the other Gundams. We have seen 01 and 02, aka Gundam Wing and Gundam Death Scythe. And they're like, what the fuck, we're getting attacked! <clears throat> and then here's Wu Fei. Wu Fei Fong, I believe. I don't remember his name. He's the character I like the least out of the Gundam pilots, but that's my personal opinion. He Gundam, his Gundam is called Shenlong, and his Gundam wing number, Gundam number is 05, I believe. Because there's only five Gundams in existence at this current moment. And then another attack, elsewhere at the same time. This is Troa Barton, I believe. Barton, yeah, Barton. And uh, his Gundam is zero, f zero, three. Heavy arms. And here's the introduction to Catra. If I could get his face to show up. Oh no, I didn't. That. W anyways, you'll see. This battle will go by pretty fast, hopefully. If memory serves me right. These are my not real life, not part of the anime um, units that I have right now. And these are my miscellaneous pilots that I, for the first mission. And this is my ship, the carrier that will be carrying those. 
awfully mundane looking mobile suits. They're not mundane looking, they look pretty badass. Even in the SD. So we have two maps for this scenario. I don't know what this menu does. Um, yeah, I don't know what it does. I have no idea. Uh, let's go next. Let's start this damn battle. I think it's been long enough of just me walking, uh, going through the story a little bit. Da -da. So let's deploy my not part of the actual anime units. It's all in Japanese. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I do know what I'm doing because if I'm pretty much going with my muscle memory right now. Like I said, I spent two to three hundred hours of this game and I could not read a lick of Japanese. Not one single bit. I actually know more Japanese now than I have ever done in my lifetime. Oh fuck! I cancelled the deployment. I have to go through this shitty animation again. Ugh. We have deployed. Yes, 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 yes. Close. Yes, 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 yes. Since Troa doesn't really have any support over here, I will deploy my strange uh, no names here and I will deploy them like so. Just because I don't really have an idea of how they'll move. Troa will move here because he is a better pilot than my miscellaneous no names. Nope. Oh. I want to go. How do I. There. Here we are. Here we are. Here's Catra. Catra or Baba Winner or something along those lines. I forget his name. Rabarba. Um. Can't look at his. Can't look at his, um. Gundam. Huh. We will see in due time. Catra's a really good dodger. But he's a close. Close. Maybe. Close up specialist. And here's his little entourage of, um. Supporters. I guess he's. I, I think. Catra is a prince, and his supporters are like pretty much die hard. We will support you to the very end, type of guys. And that's totally fine with your. as long as you guys feel justified in doing so. This is just going through my usual routines. It's important to note, whenever you see NPC, or not NPC, default no names like these guys here, if they survive the match or the or the stage, they will actually join my team as, and they will be identifiable later on. So it's actually very no, uh, worthwhile to keep them alive if at all possible. So here's Wu Fei, my least favorite character. Let's move up one spot. I should show you. I, oh no! I shall show you. The on the top left here it says one tilde one. That is one out of one spaces. Oops. Forty-five hundred is the damage. One hundred is the accuracy. En is thirty-eight. En is thirty-eight, and en underneath the HP bar is my energy basically. And one, two, two, four, five, five, and they have different variations of how much, how accurate they are, and how much damage they deal. Except I fucked up. Yeah, I'm gonna speed up their motions. Oh, whoa, what's going on? Somebody's attacking me, and it's attacking Troa. Troa will try to dodge. Um, this is attack, counter attack, right here. This is defend, and this is <clears throat> dodge. Dodge that. Tension down means their their adrenaline has gone down, hence they will be less accurate in their future endeavors. Oh no, that was a two-hitter. Shit. That was bad of me. I might actually lose that mobile suit. Because my pilots aren't really good at dodging at all. 50%? I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. Catra, as you can see, really good at dodging, 23%. Really hard to hit a 23%. But I'm not, I'm not immune to um, 
probability, it's still not a 0% chance, you know? Oh, I, I guess I should show you guys some of this animation here. Generic, generic music. Ooh. Damn, that's... They're actually hitting pretty hard. A little beam, that's all it is. Nothing too special. Noted. It's I. It's not enough. To, two hits of those are not enough to kill them. Noted. Attack Troa. Yeah. I'll show you guys this one as well. This, I believe, is his Gatling gun ability. So Troa's Gundam is called Heavy Arms, and it's named Heavy Arms because it's pretty much a long distance specialized uh, Gundam. He has a Gatling gun on his right for long distances. He has a giant Gatling gun. Uh, oh, as he just displayed, and he has countless numbers, countless amounts of missiles in his arsenal. And this is the generic man. Can't, as you can see, I can't counter because I don't have anything in range to counter with. So he'll just dodge. Um, 63, not worth it. I'll, I'm probably gonna get hit. I'll show you this one as well. I'm gonna try. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna try my best to uh. Show all animations of each Gundam and every, or you know, new ones and that, and such. Some of them are really legit, pretty cool, even for the 2000 era. And some of them are very generic. So, and sometimes I really like one, so I might end up showing a specific move one more, more than, ooh, more than a few times here and there. God, I'm feeling very nostalgic right now, and I, that puts me at a very happy time, so to speak. If these mofos would stop attacking me, though, I would feel a lot better. So here, as you can see, my most powerful attack beat besides the melee attack is a 45 range, 3500, 100 accuracy, but 28 beam, or 28 EN, beam 1. One beam is what they're saying. So it takes me 28 of my power, but he's going to go back and retreat anyway, so I might as well do it. He's going to retreat because he's not going to have a lot of HP after this. It was my mistake trying to uh, moving them up too close and personal right from the start. But you know, whatever. This game is actually not that hard, so I will put like very fake um, difficulty stipulations on myself. Oh, it's a chest beam. It's a scatter beam from the chest. Ah, you're dodging, but it's <laughs> you dodge right into all of them. Sweet deal. 45, that's pretty decent. Yeah, but it's not a very difficult game. Not not in the le um I've played some very difficult strategy games, you know, and this is not one of them my by 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 far. This 800 move, uh, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you at least once. Anything that says 800, it's those little machine guns that are on the shoulders or heads of the units of uh, Gundams. Very, very generic, very not, not awesome to look at. I'll hardly ever use those moves either. But here's your glimpse at this uh, Gundam Sandrock. Very, it's a very melee specialized unit. Oh shit! Critical with the head machine gun, but it'll only do so much damage. That's pretty legit, but he's for a critical hit, and it's a Gundam, so it's very powerful. Too many enemy units, though. Jesus, taking for it, take forever. Ugh, dodge. 
All right, attacking Wu Fei here. I'll show you this. Lady, are you listening to me, lady? Just because I'm a boy or something, I don't know. You shouldn't be fighting in a man's uh, battlefield. Oh shit, that's a that was glitchy. You didn't see that. My legal PlayStation obviously is not very good. Oh shit, she's launching missiles at me. And he's like, I don't even have to move. Ow, one did hit. 600. This is Gundam Shenlong. This is probably the coolest move though from all the gun from this Gundam in particular. So close. Yeah, Wu Fei is a very I don't typically like angry characters and Wu Fei perfectly just just fits into the constantly angry. That's a machine gun, I don't feel like using it. Constantly angry character to the point where it just you know, you just get tired of his antics. Alright, Wu Fei, show them what you can do. I'll move over here. Oops. I want to move one more down. That's three spaces away, and I will use this move on... I can't do that. Okay, as you can see, I have restrictions. And what are those restrictions? Certain moves... Oops. Hold on, I'll just attack from here. Forget it. Certain moves like this here, although they are in range, it's from 2 to 4. 1, 2. I cannot hit them. That's because they are flying units. These are flying units and some, certain moves cannot attack flying units. However, this 5x5 five five move, that dragon move we just saw earlier, does hit flying units. And here we go. Bye, Noin. So since they're flying, I'll just have to use my most powerful move. And these should be one it kills, yep. So whenever a unit that I control destroys an enemy mobile suit, or just unit in general, they get a bonus move. Which makes the game even easier. And that little, if your tension goes up enough, you have enough adrenaline running in your body, you will run, you will be in a perpetual state of criticalness, as I would like to call it. And he has, he's out of me and he can't do anything. Back to the big battle here. So, it's not looking good. Psych! I have Gundams in my fucking arsenal. Oh, right. They, they could. Nope, go back. So, that extra option I wasn't expecting. This right here, single attack or double attack, or team attack, I could do team ups. So, a team up attack basically means, you know, two units are gonna attack one guy. And I'm gonna try my best to get my guys to do as much attacking as possible because. These guys retain their... they get permanent experience, basically. And permanent experience is very good for me. Double team, just in case... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Go away. Rank up C, rank up C, that's for my, for the miscellaneous pilots actually, which is not very, very good. He will attack alone on this one, and hopefully he beats the statistics there. 4,500, good deal. Did! No, give me a level up, jeez, don't, quit, quit, quit this rank up shit. These are generic pilots that have to, that that I that will not be sticking around with me, so I don't need you guys to level up at all. Stop it. I don't think the one melee is going to be enough to do it, so I will attack with the beam. I think no, the Gatling gun. I'll show you what's going on here.
I almost feel like they should be like calling out their attack names. <laughs> like, in true anime style. Alright! A lightsaber attack. Uh oh, just the one attack. It's still pretty cool in my opinion. Come on guys. Cut me some slack. This game was like is pretty much 14, 14 years ago. Uh 14 years old. Cut me some slack. Rank up A, I don't care about your rank, I want my mobile suits to level up. That's all I want. That's all I'm asking for, guys. Did these guys ever get hit? I'll risk it. Yeah! Down you go! Bam! Alright. Level up, too, as you can see. But now I'm out of Yen. Everything costs too much. I could use this, but it won't kill anything anytime soon. And plus, I want them to heal up. So my parallel universe uh, non-existent characters here, if they go back to their to the ship, they will end up. Hey, hello! I didn't even notice these. These are actually occupational. Occupate. Occupate. You can occupy. <laughs> Occupiable? Is that even a word? Anyways, they'll give me money at the end of the mission, essentially. I want my generic guys to be alive and well before the by the time the match ends. I have one of these is a sniper. Which one is it? Not you. This guy's a sniper. I remember. Yeah, five to six. That six right there is a huge advantage. Most unit mobile suits can only go up to a five. Um, but that's even if that. Some of them can't even go to five. I'll attack here. They won't be able to counterattack. I'll show you this sniper attack. It's a 180 millimeter shot. 180 millimeter? Is that what it said? I don't know what it said. Bam. Excuse me? You're not allowed to dodge? Oh well, there's only like 50% chance to hit. So, whatever. It's all good. I'm gonna... Uh, I don't know, my Gundam... My Gundam's still out there, it's fine. Nothing to worry about. Especially when... Troa is around. I'll show you guys what... What kind of moves these are. This is a six hit attack. He shoots six missiles at them and each one will do a like, you know, a given amount of damage. Let's see how many actually hit. Two, three, four, five, six. All of them hit. Take that statistics. I want it to be a voice actor when I was a kid, because I loved anime, and I felt like I could do a good job, but when, you know, as I grew up and I'm hearing myself in YouTube, I'm like, oh, I would be a very terrible voice actor. I'm glad I didn't, I didn't make it. But I do feel like sometimes I could do a better job than some of those actors out there. No disrespect meant, it's just how I feel, and I beg your pardon if, if I offend you in any way or form. 49%, 6 shots, probably 3 of them will hit. 4. 4. Yeah, that's enough to kill them. Bonus step. So it's important to note that I could make these Gundams available for purchase if I get them up to an ace level. That's level 1, 2, 3, and then ace. Level 1, experience 0 out of 60, 615. However, I could only pursue that if there are A, enough mobile suits, and B, they gave a, 
enough experience, basically. Those are eight. Those those kind of coincide. So essentially, this mission I cannot I cannot meet make any of these mobile suits. Um, as far as I can recall, <clears throat> reach their A threshold. I'll show you this as well. Or maybe it was a level star. I don't know what he said. Two missiles. That's like his only two missiles in the anime, I think. So I'm kind of sandbagging here. I don't, you know, I'm kind of like just taking my sweet ass time getting through these missions. It'll be, it'll, at this point it's going to go a lot faster. I'm kind of, I'm running out of things to explain, which is a good sign. Um, and you guys have seen a lot of the moves. So, uh, let's try and get these guys up to the tension point. Perpetual critical level. Nope, not yet. However, Catra's specialty is melee. Oh my god, I did it again! I realized it after I moved. Alright, let's shoot this guy up with the, the same four missiles or so. Five? Oh wow, five hits. In this game, the upgraded version of um, of Heavy Arms becomes my favorite move by far. So there's this map move. Um, you'll probably never see it anytime soon. It's a very waste of time because it doesn't give me any experience. But it is cool looking, so maybe I will show you one day. But not this one, because I I can't I don't have enough yen anymore. He'll move here and he'll destroy them all. Here's oh, that's it. Good thing to note for characters character units that are part of the story. When they counterattack, they don't use any en. So now pretty much whatever Troa counterattacks. He's going to end up killing them. Of course he's going to take a little bit of hits here and there. He defended himself. And the critical hit of 1186. or 16. I don't think I showed you that move. I'll have to show you, actually. No, I did show you. The Gatling move. This is the missile of Gatling. Yep, I have shown you. Nope. Let's just keep attacking. As you can see, no EN being used. Level up two, as you can see, but you know, and there's not enough in the mobile suits in this level to to warrant trying to ace this uh, unit. Star of the unit, ace the unit. I don't remember what it was. Regardless, I'll show you what the Leo melee attacks look like. And what Catra's Ultra Uber 5000 damage hit looks like. Ow. Yeah! The pincer attack with two Shotel like move uh, weapons. Shuttle? Shotel? Whatever it's called. Curved blades. In animation form, he actually like usually that move to like pretty much cut the enemies in half. It's pretty cool, pretty gruesome, pretty cool. But you know, when things die in their mobile suits, you know people are actually dying inside. So it's a it's an anime full of death. This match is almost over.
Alright, so here's an interesting situation. He has a blind spot at 3. Pretty much being attacked at uh, 3 spaces around over, so I can't do anything. So I'll dodge. What are you doing attacking this guy? I'll show you this move. How dare you! Bam! So Shenlong, the unit Shenlong. I believe Shenlong is um, some kind of dragon. Dragon Ball, I believe the, the dragon in Dragon Ball uh, is named Shenlong. So there's obviously a correlation with ja dragon in that word or name. But who knows? What do I know, right? Critical hit. Dead. Unfortunately, you know, these Gundams are incredibly OP'd. But also, fortunately, it is also that case. All right, melee. I'll show you. I shall show you. The weak should not be fighting, says he. As much as I don't like Shenlong, he is a pretty badass Gundam pilot for sure when it comes to piloting his Gundam. But man, his his character. Oh, so annoying. In actuality, the most cool character Durze, or actually Zex, and Hero and Duo, I think. The other three are kind of mediocre characters at best. And uh, Zex being the uh, masked Char like character. Char, I believe. Anyways, let's speed, let's speed through this. Pretty much I've shown you all the moves that are worthwhile on, on Wu Fei's side. Level up two. Bonus step. As you can see, he's doing 18,000 damage on units that have about 7,000 damage or 7,000 HP. Just shows you how much they wanted to show you that these Gundams are indeed incredibly overpowered. I think I'm just gonna end it. So as you can see, he's been healed a little bit. Occupation, I uh, yeah, see. Occupation. Where is the other one? I know there's one more. Now that I remember. Oh, it's all the way over here. Nah, I'm not gonna get it. Occupation just gives me more um, money. I believe... Here's Troa's uh, army knife ability, kind of army knife switchblade, you know. But I have to say, my favorite Gundam from this series is actually the upgraded version, like I said, or upgraded version of um, Heavy Arms. By far the coolest in the Gundam Wing series, I believe, in my opinion. Actually, Epion was pretty badass, too. For those who know, Epion was the, uh... Well, uh, you'll get to it.
pretty much the match is over. Um, there he is. Alright, last move for me to show you is actually Catra's mate. Just straight up simple melee attack. You know, Catra's music is pretty good too. I like this song. I really don't like his Japanese voice. Critical hit. Sweet deal. We're down to like three mobile suits left now. Ah. Horse. Out of Yen. That's fine though. Troa is in critical mode. Hey, there's another building over there. Anyways. Match is pretty much over. One last... Oh. <laughs> Alright, mission mission is complete. I think. It should be, yeah. Uh... And... Um... I think it's good to point out that the Gundam pilots have never met each other before. They're from each each of them are from different colonies in space. Um, but the creators of the Gundams uh, colluded to make the Gundams attack at the same time. Hence, they're like, "What the fuck? Why is there another Gundam? I thought I was the only Gundam pilot." Catcher's like, "What the fuck?" Troll's like, "What the fuck?" And the bearded man's like, "Huh, weird." Anyways, and during this confusing moment, Zex takes the opportune moment takes this opportune moment to escape. So mission failure for him, for them rather. If the, if the mission was to destroy Zex, Marquis, and every every Zaz a person available. So here's my capital, my money, my monies, and I'll be using this monies to purchase new. You know, ships or whatever. Whatever I feel like. Alright. So I got those four pilots survived, so I get four new pilots. Who the fuck are you? Whatever. Who are you? She's actually a pretty decent pilot, but she cannot dodge for shit. Um, on the right there, 17. Her stat 17 is melee attacks, 19 is uh, ranged attacks, and 3 is dodge. She's not a very good dodger, but she will level up at some point. I can't remember if this guy actually levels up to be a really good pilot or not. He has the the new type ability, I believe is what they call it, an NTL. I don't remember what NTL stands for. But he's a new type. Which means he could pilot Gundams that require new type ability characters. But he's absolutely shitty in his original stats. I can't remember what that 13 is. She might be a really good um communicator. I don't remember. She might be part of the staff and the pilots, I don't know. Overall, I am not satisfied. Oh, this guy's pretty decent at dodging and meleeing. 
Anyways, hopefully I have better fortune next time. Regardless, thank you so much for checking out this video. It's going to be a very long episode, but I, you know, these that tra uh, these videos will be long. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And I'm going to save.